this video we take a look at eCastor's ability to automatically flood copper areas with fires, an extremely useful time-saving feature for stitching together ground or power plants. First of all I go to the pad stack tab and select reinforcing via. So we have a few options here. I can flood the inner, the perimeter or all of the board. We can choose which specific via we would like to use. We can also change the layer span here and we can configure our via matrix. The software prompts us to select two pieces of copper. This is an eight layer board and we are only looking at one and eight right now, but if the copper existed on more layers, it will also connect to the additional layers or provide clearance if a connection is not needed. As soon as the second copper shape is selected, eCADSTAR builds a preview image for us so we can review the matrix. While still in preview mode, I can change the matrix dimensions so I can review each result and then finally commit to adding them to my design. Now I've committed the vias to my design, they still work within the rules of our DRC and can be pushed out of the way or even deleted. 